I'm glad to see you, fellow sleuths. If this is your first video, welcome. The person we'll be painting today is Phoenix Calden. Phoenix was born in California as Phoenix Reeves, and when her family moved to Missouri, she was adopted by her stepfather, Lawrence Calden, and changed her last name to his. Phoenix was mostly homeschooled, but she did join a local junior fencing league, and she became a champion. She also played different musical instruments. On December 18, 2011, Phoenix, who was 23 years old at the time, left her home in Spanish Lake, Missouri, and vanished. She was driving a black 1998 Chevy Blazer around 3 in the afternoon. Her father thought she'd mentioned going to a convenience store or a friend's house. About two and a half hours after she left home, her vehicle was found abandoned and running, only 25 minutes from where she lived, and sitting in the middle of traffic. The vehicle was towed and placed into the police database as abandoned. The police didn't investigate the license plate or do a search of the vehicle. Phoenix family wouldn't even know about the car's discovery, not until a friend, searching independently, discovered it in a tow lot on January 2, 2012 two months after she'd been reported missing. Her family performed an independent search of the vehicle and found her glasses, purse, shoes, and ID. After finally taking DNA evidence, it returned that the only people to have been in the car were Phoenix and her parents. There has been no activity on her bank accounts, cell phone, or social media since she vanished. Two months after she disappeared, when the car was confirmed to be hers, police brought cadaver dogs to the area they found the car. During the investigation, it came out that while Phoenix may have acted one way at a home, some of her friends described her as complicated, struggling with some drug use and dealing with boyfriends. Either way, Phoenix's family still searched for her, criticizing the lack of effort from the police. Their daughter had gone missing, and they felt the police didn't care because of the color of her skin. Her parents walked the streets themselves, talking to drug dealers, prostitutes, anyone who had might have seen or heard something. They also hired private investigators and funded private searches. These costs would lead to their home going into foreclosure and their life savings being drained. One PI the family hired, Steve Foster, claimed to have found two birth certificates for Phoenix, one with their stepfather's last name, Colden, and one with her original name, Reeves. He brought this information to the police and they discovered only four Phoenix Reeves living in the United States. They were able to eliminate three of them, based on background, but the last name had no social security number, date of birth, or relatives. This person also only had one address on file, from January 2012 to June 2012, located in Alaska. Sadly, the owner of the home and neighbors didn't recognize the name or Phoenix's photo. A possible sighting of Phoenix took place in 2014, three years after she vanished. A friend, Kelly Fraun Hurt, was on a flight home from Las Vegas to St. Louis when she saw a woman she was sure was her missing friend. Her account goes, I was already seated on the flight. There were people still boarding and I looked up and that's when I saw her. She was with a group of women. She walked right in front of me and I said, Phoenix? She turned around and said, oh, do I look like someone? And I replied, yes, you do. You look like my friend Phoenix. Kelly claimed the woman just kept walking and did not engage her any further. Kelly said she was traveling with other women and two men between the ages of 35 and 40. And that when she told the airline staff, they called the police. The woman couldn't be found in the airport to be questioned. Other family friends have claimed to have seen Phoenix, but no story has been able to be confirmed. There are three current theories about Phoenix's disappearance. These theories are covered in more detail in the Oxygen Network special. I'll link it in the description. Our first theory is that Phoenix was abducted by sex traffickers. The St. Louis metro region is in the top 20 areas in the U.S. for human trafficking. Interstate 70 runs through the city and is called the Sex Trafficking Highway of America. Our second theory is that Phoenix was murdered. The abrupt halt to bank accounts, cell phone records, and social media lends credence to the theory that Phoenix is no longer alive. Finally, the third theory is that she ran away. It's said that there is some evidence that Phoenix may have just left, but it's unclear why she would run away or what she might run to. While I like to hope for the best, and the third theory seems the least sinister, her parents don't believe their daughter would just up and leave. 
Police are still waiting for new leads. I can't help but hope that she ran away, that she had a plan and she's living a new life where she can just be the real phoenix, whoever that may be, not having to change who she is based on being at home or with friends. I know someone ending her life seems more plausible with every year that goes by with no sign of her, not reaching out, not coming forward. I do also think the sighting from her friend leads credence to the sex trafficking theory. Vegas is a hot spot, and the two men could be in charge of the women to make sure they don't act out of line. Let me know which theory you think is most likely in the comments. Phoenix is still missing, whatever may have happened to her. And I truly, for her family, for her, hope she finds justice. Thank you for listening today, and check out the resources I've listed in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to see more paintings and cases and to leave me a comment if there's a case you really want to see. Stay safe out there.